Hello everybody. Welcome to Sunny the Eggman YouTube channel. Today we will talk about the cost of living in this little red dot Singapore. Let's check it out. Singapore. A country with an average population of 5.9 million people. Score a cost of living index of 80.23. The statistic shows that Singapore is one of the most expensive country to live in Asia. Is it really so difficult to survive in Singapore? Let's check it out now. There are different points to consider if you stay in Singapore as a single working adult or you stay here with your family. For a single working adult to stay in Singapore, you must consider the five main points as follows. Point 1. Your accommodation in Singapore. There are many types of accommodation to rent in Singapore. Commonly, a young single working adult can consider to rent a room from a HDB flat owner. HDB stands for the Housing Development Board, which refers to public housing built and managed by Singapore government. Renting a room in HDB units will cost around $400 to $600 per month, depending on the size of the room and location. You would need to consider water and utilities when you rent a room, whether it is inclusive in the rental or not. There are also higher-end accommodation like shared private condominium, apartment and terrace house, which ranges from $1,000 to $1,500. Hence, there is huge range in accommodation fees, depending on your allocated budget. Point 2. Your daily expenses on food and beverage in Singapore. Generally, there is a variety of choices for food and beverage in Singapore. For local foods, you can easily get your lunch and dinner at Hawker Center, which costs you an average of $4 to $6 per meal. This sums up to an average of $300 Singapore dollars per month. However, if your budget allows, you could choose to enjoy your meal in higher-end restaurant, at an average cost of $20 to $30 per meal. A combination of Hawker Center and once a week enjoyment in higher end restaurant will cost you probably around $500 to $700 per month. Alternatively, you could also choose to buy groceries yourself and cook at home. This is the cheapest way to save your budget on food and beverage. By controlling your groceries around $20 to $30 per week, you could only spend $80 to $120 per month on food and beverage when you cook at home. Point 3. Your transportation in Singapore. Public transport in Singapore is very convenient and can reach most of the places. The two main types of public transport in Singapore is Mass Rapid Transit, MRT, and bus. MRT is the railway network in Singapore which covers north to south and east to west. The cost of MRT is generally from 1 Singapore dollar to 2 Singapore dollars and 50 cents per way depending on how far you travel. If you are lucky enough, you stay in a house which is very near to your workplace, say two stations away, you will save a lot on transportation cost, with an average of $60 to $80 per month. However, if you stay in outskirts area like Tampanese or Woodlands, and you happen to work in CBD town area, you will need to spend more on transportation cost. Besides working, you also need to spend extra time and money to travel from outskirts area to meet friends or attend activities, which normally organize in central areas. The average transportation cost to stay in outskirts area is around 300 Singapore dollars to 500 Singapore dollars per month, depending on the frequency you travel using private hire like Grab Uber or Taxi. Point 4. Your telecommunication expenses in Singapore. To keep you stay connected all the times, you would need to consider internet data usage at home and outside home. There are a few main telecommunication service providers in Singapore, namely Singtel, Starhub and M1. The average mobile plan from these service providers range from $20 to $40 per month, depending on your data usage and phone call usage. For internet data usage at home, some owners may provide Wi-Fi connection when you rent a room. If not, you might need to pay extra $20 to $40 per month in order to share the Wi-Fi connection at home. Point 5. Your personal lifestyle in Singapore. 
The above points are all basic necessities in Singapore but this is the nice to have point for your comfortable lifestyle in Singapore. It is the main point which affects your overall spending in Singapore. If you are a person who needs to have a lot of entertainments during free times, then you tends to spend a lot on entertainments, be it watching movies, gathering with friends or traveling to different parts of Singapore. You can easily spend an average of $800 to $1,000 per month on entertainments during weekends. To add on, if you would like to subscribe a monthly gym membership for exercise, it will cost you around $100 to $200 per month, depending on the coverage of the gym membership. Also, it all depends on your spending habit and how often you purchase luxury items. Singapore is a trading hub which have a huge variety of international luxury goods. This allows people to buy luxury goods at shopping mall easily and conveniently. If you did not have a good control on your shopping budget, you might end up spending a big chunk of money on luxury goods. However, if you wish to save more money but at the same time exploring the best side of Singapore, you can visit different national parks, street arts or seaside which are free of charge. From time to time, there are also activities with free tickets available online which require advance booking. In conclusion, if you are a young single working adult with a tight budget to stay in Singapore, you can survive in Singapore by spending an average of $800 to $1,000 on basic necessities. If you are a single adult but wish to have a mid-range lifestyle in Singapore, then it is possible to control your budget in Singapore at an average spending of $2,300 Singapore dollars to $2,500 Singapore dollars. Hope this video provides you a good insight on how much to spend in Singapore as an individual. We will explain on the cost of living in Singapore as a family in part 2. Stay tuned and remember to share, like and subscribe our channel. I'm Sunny the Eggman. Goodbye.